want to start by giving all the praises, glory, and honor <coughs> to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah Bashem, Wakakwadash, double honors to the elder apostles of the great Muslim who were well. Peace and salutations to the old four elect tabernacle of David, scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. And um, I was just uh, watching the elder apostle to ours uh, latest video. Layla Ali is a real one. And, uh, you know, it, it definitely inspired me to go and check the video that he was referring to. And, um, you know, all I did was uh, type in her name on the Google, I mean, uh, the YouTube search bar. And uh, this actually came up. All right. And this is uh, B, B and C news. And, uh, you know, you got these two, you know, jakes, you know, that work for... Uh, now, these are Rothschild Rockefeller workers, because if you work for any of these, you know, major news uh, networks, then you pretty much got to, you know, forward the agenda of the overlords that control and run mainstream media, all right, which we all know is coming from the top, all right, the left hand. So, you know, these are um, NWO enablers, you know, they, they, they pushing forward the propaganda, you know, of the powers that be. And you know, anybody that come against that, they're going to be used, you know, to uh, to demonize you. And that's what's happening in the case of Layla Ali. All right. Now, I'm going to play just a little bit of this segment here. And what you're actually going to get to see the post that Layla Ali left on her um, social media platform. And, you know, she's catching all type of flack and all type of heat. You know, for just making a statement, and uh, hey, you know, in, this, in these in these days and times, you know, when you speak the truth, it's going to be seen as a revolutionary act. You know, word to uh, George Orwell. All right. So uh, anyway, let's uh, play the, the clip, and then I'm gonna just uh, respond with a couple of precepts. You know, I'm, I'm not gonna make this uh, too long. Everybody's talking about the the vaccines and the mask, whatnot. Later through her two cents in, she threw out, uh, I guess, an IG post, and she was talking about, um, let's put up the post real quick. It's just an anti-vaccine and an anti-mask post in a sense, basically telling people, hey, it's it's our choice. People don't seem to understand just because people don't wear masks, don't want the shot, it doesn't mean that you don't believe a virus. Simply choose to build up a trust, their own immune system, they get it, they will deal with it, it's God's given choice. And she goes on to say, before you claim they are putting others in danger, you should do your own research to learn if that's actually true. You can't change anyone but yourself, so you do you. She didn't do herself any favors because she's getting dragged right now on social media. And she should be. I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know that she cares because, uh, you know, Layla Lee's a real one. Um, she ended it, by the way, with real talk, which Layla Lee inspires me. I think she's beautiful, smart, from her body image to her confidence. She's everything I'd want to be, everything I'd want my daughter to be. But in this moment, her mm. comments are that of a simpleton, a simpleton. There's no gray area. And don't talk to me about what her opinion is. It's not opinion, okay? It is the height of selfishness, uh, hypocrisy disgusting uh, lack of Im informative um, speech towards millions of people mm -hmm. who love her, Layla Ali mm -hmm. is wrong. Okay. So, you hear this woman right here, she ain't, know that she ain't bringing nothing scientific, you know, she can't really substantiate why she's making these statements about Layla Ali based on her statement. It's just ridicule, shaming, 